India's a country of farmers. Even in this era of technology and modernization, our farms and farmers are the backbone of our economy. While modern living and growth of civilization has brought the kind of advancement which is better for human civilization, it has its own cost. The continuous need for energy, the greater consumption of energy makes it hard to satiate the demand generated. On the other hand, the energy generated by traditional means in such a large extent really puts our environment on risk. For the last few years, the issue of air pollution due to farm stubble burning has been the bone of contention. Biomass is an organic material that stems from plants by converting sunlight into plant material through photosynthesis. The total agriculture residue generated in India is almost 754 million tons per year, out of which the total surplus becomes almost 228 million tons per year. Most of the farmers just burn this surplus agriculture residue of farm stubble. To reduce stubble burning and carbon footprint of thermal power plants while increasing the income of farmers, Government of India has taken various proactive steps with the establishment of National Mission on Use of Biomass in Thermal Power Plants in July 2021. The mission is also called as Samarth, Sustainable Agrarian Mission on Use of Agro Residue in Thermal Power Plants. Ministry of Power, Constituted Steering Committee, Executive Committee, Mission Directorate and five subgroup for the execution of the mission which comes with revised policy for Biomass Utilization for Power Generation. Ministry of Power's policy on Biomass Utilization for Power Generation through co-firing in coal-based power plants issued in October 2021 mandates all thermal power plants in the country use 5 to 10 percent biomass along with coal for power production. A steering committee under the chairmanship of Secretary Minister of Power will monitor the overall mission and make the agro residue or biomass a profitable material for the farmers. <laughs> Samarth mission subgroups have responsibilities like research of biomass, preparation of technical specifications, resolution of issues pertaining to supply chain, regulatory framework, economics and development of ecosystem for biomass eco-firing in thermal power plant. Three major stakeholders of biomass supply chain are farmers, pellet manufacturers, coal-based power plants. This is a two-sided approach for the country. One, where we reduce our carbon footprint. On the other hand, increasing the income of the farmers, as well as decreasing the dependency on fossil fuel would be a great achievement. By this advancing green proactive initiative, several benefits are possible, like rural electrification and job creation for farmers by pellet manufacturers and providing empowerment to the farmers. Co-firing is a low-cost option for converting biomass efficiently and cleanly to electricity by adding biomass as a partial substitute fuel in high-efficiency coal-fired boilers. Right now, India have installed 209 gigawatt coal-based power plants, whereas we have almost 228 million ton surplus biomass potential to work on, which have 325 billion units electrical energy potential. About 39 thermal power plants have already co-fired 83,000 metric tons of biomass pellets so far. The blending of biomass with coal will reduce coal dependence in thermal power plants. Reduction in coal consumption by 5% biomass co-firing shall result in carbon dioxide emission reduction of 38 mmt annually. 
considering the future where India could be a green nation while it has more job opportunities and reduced carbon footprint. With this new mission in hand, the government has stressed on increasing the capacity of pellet manufacturers and in this regard, several trainings for pellet manufacturers have been conducted by the National Power Training Institute all over the country. More than 30 numbers of offline and online training come awareness programs for various stakeholders in the sector including farmers, pellet manufacturers and power plant officials were held as of now. It is one of the best examples of pellet to power to prosperity. First, 2070 तक भारत नेट जीरो का लक्ष्य हासिल करेगा। Government of India is taking the right steps with a futuristic vision and the efforts of transforming the problem of stubble burning into a solution of power production. With lower carbon footprints, is taking holes in the minds and hearts of all the stakeholders. With the active participation of farmers, pellet manufacturers and power plants in the country, we can achieve this goal of keeping a fine balance between productivity, energy generation and cleaner environment.